Hello, my name is Terry Lilly. I'm a marine biologist on the north shore of Kauai, and I've been doing underwater and educational movies about the reefs and marine life for the last 10 years. Recently, I discovered a coral disease that turns out to be the worst of its kind anywhere documented in the Hawaiian Islands. This is a group of people from the USGS and University of Hawaii and NOAA that have been over to the north shore of Kauai with me trying to study and document this new cyanobacterial disease. One of my grad students here, where we measure the coral disease to see how fast it's growing. It's extremely alarming. This disease grows anywhere from two to four inches a week, killing corals that are 30 to 40 years old in less than a month. This cyanobacterial disease, a year and a half ago, had only killed 100 to 1,000 corals. Now it's infected and killing well over a million corals. The scientists from the government and the University of Hawaii are actually underwater doing survey work and taking DNA samples of this deadly disease. Our concern is it's killing the reefs so quickly that these beautiful butterfly fish that eat the coral polyps will die if the reef dies here on the North Shore of Kauai. All of the marine life from the turtles to humans to the dolphins all the way to the whales and the sea urchins could be affected by this very deadly disease. At the current rate this cyanobacterial disease is killing the reefs on the North Shore of Kauai, we won't have a coral reef left here within the next two to four years. That's extremely concerning to all of us here who live in Kauai and also in the Hawaiian Islands. The rapid spread of this disease on Kauai's reefs is unprecedented throughout all of the world. If the coral polyps die, the entire reef ecosystem dies. The top coral scientists do not have enough data to even hazard a guess as to the cause of this coral destruction. The solution is complex and will require local businesses and communities to become intimately involved and engaged. If you are disturbed by the preceding video and would like to take personal action to save our island paradise, please visit underwater2web.com. We desperately need funds to do extensive chemical testing, DNA analysis, and bacterial studies on the corals, seawater, and sediment. If you are able to donate money, we have a tax-deductible Kauai nonprofit that is working with us along with NOAA, USGS, and the University of Hawaii. You can access the donate button on the site's sidebar. If you are a diver or captain of a vessel and have little spare time, we need flippers in the water to survey the extent of this coral disease. Talk to your neighbors about what is happening to our island. We will all need to come together for a solution.